Have you been thinking about upgrading yourself and your life as well as your style? Have you ever thought about that your style, your self-identity and your style identity is like a partnership, it is a marriage, it merges together. Your self-identity is who you are, who are you becoming, who do you want to be, what are you aspiring towards, what changes and tweaks do you need to make. Your style is your partner because your style is your style language, it is your silent partner, it is talking and expressing on your behalf because as you know, your style is an extension of your personality, your style is your personal brand. So if you want to upgrade yourself and your style, here are 10 reasons why you need to become that best version of yourself or reinvent yourself as well as have a style that is your partner in this process and this journey of starting to date whether you're growing your business whether you're starting a new business you're an entrepreneur you're starting something new new products or you're moving up in the career or the fact is that you're just ready for a transformation hi my name is Tanya Sutherland and with over 38 years of experience of being a confidence and self image coach as if you love this kind of content, then please don't forget to press the subscribe button down below and leave any comments down below of how you've turned and changed yourself and your style for you to create the life that you want. Share any tips with us. I'd love to hear your comments. And I'll share with you, it's been a journey of absolute creating a life of purpose. When I was 19 and I started my entrepreneurial journey as a fashion designer, I needed to create this mindset, this map, and manifestation of where my future is going. So it was so important that my style would connect with who I am as I'm upgrading from a teenage mother, going into an adult and being an entrepreneur, running your own business. I wanted to be taken serious and I knew where I wanted to go. So my style was so important. So I already started this journey at 19. Um, I'm going to this upgrade again at 57 because we're evolving and learning all the time. This video is about 10 ways of how you can upgrade yourself as well as your style to create the life that you want. The first one would be is to define what it is that you want. What are your goals for this future vision that you have? Now to me the most important thing is, is to have this, this visualization of what it is that you want. To define your goals and your values, to align your actions with your vision. A great way to do that is for you to create a vision board of the life that you want. Add everything into that vision board. Have another vision board just totally with your style. Your style of your clothing, your style of your decor, everything combined with the colors, the looks, the themes, the, the aesthetics, the genres, everything that you like that you know resonates to who you are or the direction that you want to go. It's essential to know who you are, what it is you want, what are your goals and you need to align them to your values. Do they suit you? Are they going to suit your future plans? And then the next step would be is what actions are you going to start implementing with this vision that you've got? Now the best vision for me I would say is to have a vision board of your life as well as your style that you really know what it looks like where you're going and how you're going to be dressed and how you're going to show up with this new vision that you have in your life. And of course, to make some time to invest in yourself as well as your level of education. So you might have an abundance of skills and experience behind you and maybe achieve many things, but perhaps there's one or two little things that you need to learn new skills to help you to create this vision for you to follow this action plan of the goals that you are aspiring to. So have a look at your experiences, your skills, all those things you've accomplished through your life. Are there any new skills that you need to learn for you to step into taking those steps of action that you can lead yourself closer onto that path with absolute intention and focus of what it is that you want. So perhaps you need to learn a new skill. So for example, you are starting a clothing collection. So maybe you would need to learn to sew because you would like to make the samples yourself or you are going to be working with seamstresses or employing seamstresses when you can afford that. So you need to know how to put a garment together, how to construct it. So maybe sewing might just be one of the skills that you need to learn. 
Oh, you are starting to run your own business and maybe you need to learn some bookkeeping. So you need to understand the entire administration of how do you keep books and journals for your business, for the, finance, the financials of your business. So this new skill is going to improve your expertise, your knowledge, as well as your self-confidence. Because the more you know about something, the more you practice, and the more you learn about that thing, the more you can implement it. And before you know it, it becomes quite natural. Just like when you first started driving a car, you're probably as nervous as hell. And now when you're climbing behind the wheel, it's so automatic. If you are following a journey in your life and you are upgrading yourself and your style identity, it is so important to take much better care of yourself. It's about self-love. So when you look in that mirror and you see that reflection, you see the reflection of yourself, that woman in the mirror, you need to learn to love her and to appreciate her as part of your self-acceptance. It's also so important to make time for yourself, that self-nurturing and self-care. Listen to those words that you're saying in your mind, those inner conversations. Are they pleasant conversations? And are you using words that is gentle and kind to who you are? And now again, I understand you might have to kick your own ass to say, pull yourself out of this rut or get over this, you know, feeling sorry for yourself or falling into victim mode mentality. I understand that. But you need to be very kind to yourself. And of course, you need to take better care of yourself, not just mentally, as well as physically. So eating healthy, taking care of yourself, because if you are you're upgrading yourself as well as your style, so that you can actually create the life that you want, you need the energy, you want to be healthy, you want to be radiant, and you want to feel and look good about yourself. It starts off with you, how you think about yourself, and how you present yourself. Build meaningful relationships. Do your friends, family, colleagues, even your staff, if you have your own business, do they complement the energy in that environment? Are they adding value to you and to your future plan? Are they helping you to upgrade for you to become the best version of yourself? Because this is an energy flame. What they are giving you, you are giving back and you are all learning in the process. It's important to reflect about your friendship, your support structure, even your staff around you. Are they adding value? Be honest with yourself. Your style is an expression of who you are without saying a word. Now, communication. Your verbal communication and your body language is also so important. So take your time to learn how to communicate and express yourself in a manner that people understand what it is that you want, what you want done, how do you want them to go about it, what is it that you're trying to express, what is your future plan or future your future vision with the way that you are expressing yourself. Make sure it's clear, especially if you are running your own business and you are speaking to your staff or your team and you want them to take on a task and you know what the end result is, that you give them explicit instructions with clear communication of what it is that you want and how they should go about it and what the final result will be. And everything in life should be like that. Your communication should be expressed getting what you want and you are saying exactly what it is that you want. And also manifestation is all about the words that you're using as well as your energy. So be aware and be consciously aware of what words you are using no matter who you are communicating with. Develop a growth mindset because all about you evolving, upgrading and that transformation that means you need to keep a clear mind and get rid of any blockages or resistances holding you back. You need to be more flexible and more adaptable in the way you're thinking and also give things a chance around you. So you need to embrace the challenges and changes that are happening all around your life because life doesn't always just give us exactly what the list that we ask. Sometimes there's some curveballs thrown at us or whole new areas that we didn't even want to go into or a different kind of job or career. But these are all part of your path of growing and learning new skills and experiences and you are becoming adaptable. Maybe some of these experiences are places you don't like at all, but now you know what it is that you don't like. And life is about embracing challenges. Now we have a few failures, we have some successes, and yet what do we do? We tend to focus more on the failures. And I'm sure the failures are probably a little list like this, and sure that all the successes and all the rewards and things that you have achieved is probably a massive long list like 
like that, but get your focus on the smallest thing where we made a total effort. Let go of that. Embrace and embark this new journey that you are on. Part of upgrading yourself is your style. You need to create a unique style that speaks for you, that is resonating to who you are, your aspirations, and your vision of where you are going. So maybe your whole life has changed. Maybe you were a stay-at-home mom, and now you are starting a career, and you are networking. You need to see clients. You're putting yourself out there, or you're doing Zoom meetings. And now suddenly that wardrobe that you used to have, no longer would resonate with this upgrade of who you're becoming and where you are going for your future life that you want to create for yourself. So look at your unique style, your unique wardrobe that works for you. Create a vision board. Have some fun. Explore different styles and designs. I'll leave the link down below of my website. Have a look at some of the style programs I have to help you understand your colors, your body shape. You seem consciously with color to heal the body and the mind. Plus the style formulas, which you can try them all out, maybe you like them all. Or choose one or two that you can repeat and bring into your wardrobe that you know this is your kind of look and formula that's more unique to who you are and is expressing the life that you are creating through your style, being totally connected and partnering up with your style identity. This is who you are. It is going to elevate your energy level and when you're energy and you're feeling better about yourself that is when you are taking on tasks you don't doubt yourself you are not you know that you are worth you are worth it to see it through to follow your path and your actions to what it is that you want when you are upgrading our lives and we are moving into a new direction what do we do we tend to keep ourselves very busy we can procrastinate we find excuses so how no learn how to set boundaries and learn to say no, even to yourself. So when you're setting boundaries, you are knowing that I'm not going to take on so many more things. I'm focusing on one particular thing. I'm not going to be sharing my time and just trying to please everybody and do everything for everyone else. Everyone else also needs to take a turn to do a certain chore, especially when you have a family or even your team. Don't try to take over control of everything. Set boundaries for yourself. And make sure that they are clearly understood. And then, of course, learn to say no to yourself. Stop taking on more things. Prioritize your time and your energy to the most effective way that you can. To avoid this total burnout, especially when you're starting something new or you're adding something new to your life or career or your business. So practicing a mindset of absolute gratitude. It's definitely part of creating this growth mindset because you are always in gratitude with what you have right now. With that energy alone, you are really manifesting that you are open to having more because you're really appreciating what it is that you have right now. It's also about appreciating who you are, looking in that mirror and loving the woman that you see in the mirror. Appreciate yourself. Remind yourself how far you've come, how much you have done, how much you have learned, even all the aches and the pains and the heartaches and all the total efforts you've made in your life, that's all part of you learning and experience, making you absolutely unique to who you are. And you have a whole lot of abundance of knowledge and expertise behind you for you to take that and to use that to create the life that you want. When you get dressed every day and you set an intention, I'm wearing a specific color, a specific outfit, for the task I've set out for myself today and to remind myself that every time I self-doubt myself, the orange is going to uplift me and remind me how confident I really am, how much I actually have achieved up until this point in my life. And you choose a color in your outfit that you're wearing every day. You are dressing with an intention. It's reminding you of having an emotion where you're feeling great. Is reminding you of a set action and what is the end of the day's task that you want to complete that is bringing you closer to your goals.